The Princess Switch Romancing the Stars is now streaming, and like the first two films, there are some hilarious scenes and funny dialogues. The film stars Vanessa Hutchins, Vanessa Hutchins, and Vanessa Hutchins. Here are some of the best moments from The Princess Switch 3. Margaret visits Fiona at the convent to help find the star. Fiona gets in contact with a friend to help, but decides not to reveal his name and instead call him the goat. If only Prince Edward knew what that meant. He's a goat. Greatest of all time, babe. It's like a sports thing. I knew that. I knew that. Peter comes up with a plan to steal back the star, which requires Fiona getting an invite to Hunter's party. Since they have history, it would be a lot easier, and since Hunter walks his dog through the park, Fiona will do the same, and they will accidentally collide. It was not a good idea, however, to let Reggie pick the dog. Oh, Peter has Reggie and Mindy practice climbing a roof since that's how they'll get into Hunter's house. Meanwhile, Margaret is having a meeting with Cardinal Amor. What in heaven's name was that? That was the yodeler rehearsing for the ceremony. Nice save, Margaret. Now that they have a plan to recover the star, and since Reggie didn't break his fall, Fiona has to replace him. But someone needs to replace Fiona, or better yet, become her. Margaret's impression of her was spot on, and not to mention the uncanny resemblance. But I don't. But you do. But I don't. But you really do. But I do. <laughs> oh, she's good. Although Margaret's impression of Fiona was good, there's a few things she couldn't quite master. Yet, it's interesting to see Fiona being the teacher this time around. Hunter loves the tango. Fiona is really good at it. Something you don't see every day. Fiona teaching Margaret how to tango. And the eye she still has for Peter. And him as well. You would think Margaret and Fiona switching places was all. But since it's the third film, Instead of adding another look-alike, why not have three Fionas? With Margaret and Fiona going to retrieve the star, Stacy gets a call from St. Michael's saying that Fiona's review was pushed up. Now, Stacy too has to become Fiona and attend the hearing on her behalf. How on earth does she walk in these things? How on earth does she walk in these things? No, how it's done. No, no, how it's done. Could you speak a little louder so everyone knows we're breaking in? <laughs> Margaret's dance lesson paid off as she was able to distract Hunter and stun the audience at the same time. Fiona and Peter's teamwork is definitely unmatched, but maybe it's all the romance between them. The mission starts going sideways, and Reggie starts panicking and manages to convince Frank and Mindy to leave Fiona and Peter behind. That was in motion until Frank saw Fiona. Miss Pembroke, come with me if you want to live. Uh, no! Kevin, however, returns to not one, but three Fionas. Peter gets Fiona to reunite with her mum, but she pushes him away. At the tree lighting ceremony, he arrives, and they decide not to waste any more time. There are a lot of fun moments. What were some of your best moments from the film? Let us know down in the comment section below.